Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition on my Fiesta ST180 series. Now today's video is going to be a very short video uh, and I'm basically going to talk to you about low speed pre-ignition uh, okay and particularly low speed pre-ignition pre oil. Now first a little bit of an update so my car is booked in for a TRS stage one tune at Hape Sport Performance at the end of this month uh, so hopefully that's going to be something that's going to be on the cards. I'm finally going to get that tune done. I'm going to do a separate video about my reasons for going for a stage one tune and also I'll do a, a video actually uh, the car on the dyno and actually being tuned so that's something to look forward to as well. So for today I'm talking about low speed pre-ignition uh, and in particular this has been inspired by Spark Plug Steve who is who has a video which I've linked uh, in, in my video talking about low speed pre-ignition particularly when you start to tune the car to stage one and stage two so you get higher boost levels and there's an increased risk of having what we call pre-detonation or pre-knock uh, and that causes pressure in the chamber in the cylinder which can cause damage to the piston rings um, and, and kind of, of course cause serious engine damage. Now one of the uh, important things to do is to get this premium oil. So this is the Miller's XF premium engine oil, uh, 5W30 as well. Uh, so this is especially formulated to prevent low speed pre-ignition. Uh, I'm also going to change the oil filter again at the same time. Now I only just changed the oil uh, as you'll know from my recent video about the servicing of the car. So I only just recently changed it but I thought if I'm going to stage one it's incredibly important to make sure that uh, this characteristic that can happen in this engine uh, is taken care of. Now the reason why this might happen in a Fiesta ST180 is because low speed pre-ignition is very common in turbocharged engines of small displacements so that is exactly what the ST180 engine is. It's 1.6 and it's turbocharged. As soon as you start to increase the power, the boost levels, um, then you're potentially increasing the amount of pressure in that chamber. Now I'm not I'm going to show you in a drawing here about what a low speed pre-ignition is. Now I am by no means an engineer or a technical person. This is very much a lay person's perspective. But if we think about uh, here in, in the chain, we've got the a piston, sorry, piston here, we've got the chamber. Uh, and essentially what happens is in a turbocharged engine, you're having fuel that's being injected. So this is direct injection as well. That's another risk factor for low speed pre-ignition. So you've got, um, fuel being injected into the chamber you've got oil that's being injected into the chamber as well uh, and then you have the spark which is coming which causes detonation now when that happens at um, a normal point of the combustion cycle the fuel has atomized so I've put the word here atomized so it's atomized it doesn't mix with the oil and you get your normal detonation however when you have low speed pre-ignition essentially what's happening is the fuel uh, gets into the chamber hasn't had a chance to atomize it mixes with the oil and creates a third uh, compound or third um, uh, basically a third substance that's inside the chamber and that then causes pre-detonation that pre-detonation is a random event um, and it can actually cause damage to the piston as well now in terms of what the oil does the oil can also if you have oil which is not LSPI oil um, then normal formulated oil could cause hot droplets to go through this part here from the piston into the chamber here and that hot oil droplet can actually cause that comes from the piston chamber can actually cause again an increase in pressure and those shock waves which cause damage to the piston ring so that is what's my understanding of low speed pre-ignition having a good oil in there will prevent that from occurring and of course the other thing to bear in mind is to make sure that the car is uh, warm before you start to increase it through the rev range so keep it below two to th three thousand rpm until the car is warm and when we say warm not just the coolant temperature also the oil temperature as well and that takes a lot longer especially in the winter to heat up so you're thinking about getting um you know a fairly steady drive go through the gears make sure the gearbox is warm as well but also the engine oil uh, temperature is up and the pressure will then increase as well uh, so that's important also make sure that you don't increase uh, acceleration from a gear that's too high so if you're in fourth gear when you should be in third don't accelerate from the low rpm that's going to put an excessive load on the engine now this is going to affect 
This may affect standard cars, but certainly according to spark plug Steve's uh, analysis as well, it's more common, it's gonna be more common in a car that's gonna be tuned. And obviously my car is gonna go for that stage one tune. So it's extremely important for me to make sure that this is something that's uh, taken care of. So that's basically it for today's video. Um, I wanted to just get this information across uh, in the way that I understand it. Obviously it'd be great to see your comments about your thoughts about low speed pre-ignition, use of the oil, um, and hopefully I will see you on the next video very soon.